Welcome back to Ozark's Box Day, and we are running ragged. We're we are running ragged all over the Jeremy, stadium today. What, what can you do for my hair? You, it's, it's a seen, lost cause. It's seen better days, hasn't it? Oh, goodness, <laughs> it's rain. it is raining right now, but uh, that's all good. We have had so much fun here. We have, today. and now we've been told we're going to be trying some amazing food. About to get better. Yes. It's about to get better, so I'm just going to be looking around for uh, for Matt. They're going to be bringing the food up uh, yeah. here shortly, but you know what? Why don't we bring on Cammie and well, Kaylee? Yeah, come on in, kids. Come on in, girls. Come on in. How fun was that charades? <laughs> totally fun. <laughs> that was like the, you know how many words we got through? That was like the best one we've ever done. It is. Louie's the missing piece that we've been yeah. missing all of this time to be good at this game, right? I know. <laughs> now, this was all about baseball. Now, we should try it again with Louie uh, with another subject. Oh, I got an Louis idea. Does know anything else besides I don't baseball? Know. What if we gave Louie the theme of football? <laughs> Oh, oh, they're moving. Look at this. They're gearing up. Look at all this stuff happening. Look at all this food coming through. Look at all this food coming through. Jeremy, I have a feeling that even if Louie knows about uh, football, that you may not. That, you're actually kind okay, of correct. I, admit it, I don't. <laughs> We're learning, We're though. That off of We're you. learning, though. But that was so much fun. It really was. I think Louie had a good time, too. Yes. Oh, I know he did. Yeah. Yes. So, did you play because you are really strong and you can hit hard? Yeah, I played softball for years. Yeah. yeah. I so. played through sixth grade, but it doesn't help me now. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> so, okay, so one time, um, my brother's little league team was at this tournament, and uh, they needed another player because one of them didn't show up. So my mom's like, "Suit up!" So I went out in the outfield, and nothing was hit to me, so I didn't really do much. But then when I came <laughs> up to bat, I was like one of the only people on the team that got a hit. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Girl power. That's your that's that's, awesome. that's your strong suit. That was only like eight years old. <laughs> oh, oh, on, Kaylee. Playing with eleven year olds or something. Yeah. <laughs> that is really that's empowering, that's really Kaylee. Fabulous. That's awesome. Uh, that is did good. you do fast pitch softball? Yeah. Oh you did. Can you show us a wind up really fast? Yeah. Come on. Jenny Finch, right here. Oh! <laughs> I couldn't do that. I did slow pitch, Kaylee. I don't know about that fast pitch, yeah. but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. How I was a pitcher too, but it was slow pitch. But. You were a pitcher? What? I was a pitcher. It's great. What grade were you in? I, I wasn't in a grade. I was <laughs> I played I played with the team in, in Branson, we the singing group, and I was the pitcher for them. A singing group, go figure, right? Yeah. They play baseball too. Yeah, everybody's got a team. It's kinda like high school musical, you know, the one where they're playing baseball and singing and dancing yeah. and they're like, I don't dance, but they're in the middle of a dance and singing while they're mm -hmm. playing. Yeah. yeah, I could yeah. totally see you guys doing that. Well, it wasn't like that at all, but <laughs> We could make we, our own we, musical. No, no, we separated it. When we were singing, we were singing. When we were playing ball, we were playing ball. But I like your idea. Yeah, sounds like yeah. a lot more fun, right? <laughs> but that is a really good uh, Broadway musical. It has Yankees in the title, and I don't want to say the first one on TV. But oh, it's a really great musical yeah. with baseball. Absolutely. You can make your own musical. Absolutely. You know, I've had the best time out here today. It is so much fun. I forget how yeah. much fun ballparks are. Absolutely. Even in the rain. Yes. Yes, even in the rain. It's kind of I, it food off stays too. here, rain or shine. So. You That's know, I right. wanted to ask Derek too. Is they have the tarp over the big part of the field? Uh -huh. I'm wondering how much rain it actually catches and how much time it saves them by having the tarp, and who has to move that? Well, yeah. listen, I can tell you that water is super heavy, so that's really interesting. I'd like to see that done. Where does it go when they roll it up? Yeah. Uh, that's I bet a very they good have question. a whole plan worked out. That would be interesting to see. Yes, it would. I think the so it might be designed where like the center is a is a hair bit taller oh, wow. than the rest, so it all just drains to the sides. Uh, okay. Is what my guess would be. Good call. I trust her. She's sounds, a fast, fast, really fast pitch softball player. <laughs> I trust Jeremy, you, Kaylee. Jeremy, you just need some breakfast. I do need, need food. Some breakfast. And they're getting it set up right yeah. now. Um, I, I have a feeling we're going to be talking to Matt. Matt, are we going to be talking to you about food? Yes. Sir. Okay. okay. Just tell oh. us when you're ready because it's looking good. That looks incredible. Oh, oh wow. For like three weeks. Nachos and pretzels <laughs> oh, and uh, Mexican and Ain't grilled cheese. It's a great food. breakfast. Nachos for champions, right? Absolutely. You know exactly. how many guests come in, Kelly? Kelly and I get this all the time. The guests come in and we have food. They're like, oh, why not have brisket for breakfast or fried chicken for breakfast? Like, we're used to that. We eat whatever's available at seven, from 7 to 9. <laughs> That's right. And I love that you're really seeing, you can see the camera. They're getting set up for today's game. It's at 11.10. So people, it's hustle and bustle. And things are really happening here at, yeah. at the field getting ready. And I'm so excited to taste the food. Yeah, and yeah. Stop in the train. <laughs> so you mean all of this isn't just for us? No, oh, I know. Right. Well, right Love now that. it is. Right now, no, yeah, you're right. You're, they're getting ready for the game, and we were talking about that at 11:10. They're going to be out here playing rain or shine. That's what these boys do. All right, let me go. Gage, are we about ready for food? How are you guys doing over there? 
You're good? Okay, oh, let's head yeah, over then. Okay. Yep. We gotta check out this food. All right. Wanna stand on this side? Oh, here's the forks. We're over here at oh, the Oh, we forks. got that looks okay, come on amazing. In here. Come on in here, Matt. All right, Matt, do you want to tell us what we have here? Yes. All right. So let's lead off with quote, that looks amazing. <laughs> so those are our helmet nachos. So those debuted at the Cardinals Cantina last year, which is our most popular stand by far. It's like a Chipotle in the stadium. So it's it's like a legit helmet. It actually fits on your head. It fits on oh, my wow. head. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is what? Chicken or pork? That one is probably pork. So we do have forks. You guys can try them right can here. Can I just grab a chip? Yeah, grab a chip. I don't think we need a fork. Like, I tried to eat that by myself last year and could not, really? which was initially kind of shameful, but I've never seen anyone finish it alone. <laughs> so it's definitely a meal for two. Okay, definitely looks great. Mm. That's from Cantina. That's from the Cardinals Cantina, and that has street tacos and burritos and... Yeah. Everything you want. Are you going to have some? I'm not right now. I'm going to wait and see if there's anything left. Just because I'm holding the microphone and you and I are having a nice little conversation here while they're Beautiful. they're scarfing this down. That's right. Sorry, How Kelly. Is it? It's a, I got a jalapeno. You know, I like spice. Oh, that is I good. Know you do. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, right here. Okay. So while you're eating that, we just debuted like all these new different kinds of beer options. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a Budweiser Stadium. You know, owned by the St. Louis yeah. Cardinals, of course. So these are kind of all their smaller kind of beers that they also own and those are available now in our new grab and go on the third base side which is sort of like convenience store style shopping uh -huh. they have one at bush stadium it's kind of cool you just kind of walk in and pick out what you want on your own there's snacks beer ice cream good stuff yeah it sounds great now milk stout milk stout milk what is stout? that milk stout you know i've had a milk stout i don't know why it's called a milk stout really? but they're good one thing I'm noticing is they're getting real fancy with all their cans. I, I love the shades of the cans and all the detail that goes into them. What's that? Just They're just enticing people with their cans? It's marketing. I mean, yeah. I'm a sucker for it. If yeah. I see a cool can, I think it's, it's going to be a cool beer. So. Me too. I agree with you. Exactly. All right. What so, else we got? Number two is the Bavarian pretzel, which is like a, it's a pretzel upgrade for us this year. Mm. And uh, our concessions manager, Lori, says those are just selling like crazy. What's the Bavarian part yeah, of that word? So, so Bavarian, I think it's just kind of a little fluffier on the inside it like it's not your typical ballpark pretzel that'll kind of harden up if oh. it sits out for a few innings like this stays soft and it's hey good Cammy, can game. you rip off a few pieces for everybody you dig into that for everybody give me the saltiest piece <laughs> Kay Kaylee you were gonna say something about the the pretzel Are it, it looks bigger it looks fluffier exactly that's Thank the you. Bavarian in it <laughs> Kaylee likes salt <laughs> well, I'm with you piece. girl on the salt yeah that makes everything better and the cheese is great. Oh, God. Yes. Kelly, do you want to share this one with me? No, I'm going to wait on the food. Oh, you're going to wait? I'm yeah. sorry. Look at us digging. No, we're listen, so Im we're I, not being polite to I Kelly. I can't have bad hair and food in my teeth all at the same time, okay? Your just hair looks just oh, And I'm dipping. Okay. Oh, sorry, Cam. I'm dipping in cheese. All right. That looks, oh, it smells so good. It smells oh, so good. Oh, my word. I smell like a buttery smell from it. Yeah, mm. I do too. Yes. That's yeah. part of it, I think. Now, Matt, if I, I didn't introduce you properly, it's, properly, it's Matt Turner, and you do the marketing out here. Matt Turner, actually. There's, take Turner. out the N. I know. Turner. It's, it's even hard for me to say something. Turner. Turner. <laughs> wow, that's different. How so, do you spell that? T-U-R-E-R. Tur. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Again, I, that, that, that's that's Tur. different. I've never heard it's that. Weird. I know. So yeah, I do public relations, which for a minor league team, it's it's working with the regular media, but also doing all our social media, photography, stuff like that. So it's yeah. a fun job. It's a great job. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk some bacon and grilled cheese here? Yeah. So this is the gourmet grilled cheese, and I think I was told that's a bacon aioli dipping sauce. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. So it's another new product this year. You know, mm. grilled cheese at a ballpark. I've actually don't really. See that often? Yes. Um, at least where I come from. That's kind of calling my name right there. Yeah. Good question. Why don't you try to see if you can figure it, it out? Looks like it, okay. it looks like sourdough Here, to me off, too. Break off a couple yeah. pieces, Kaylee. And I want to try that. I also, oh. there's tomato <laughs> in there too. I'll do it, Kaylee. All right. <laughs> Kaylee, I'll do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh wow, that's great. Oh wait, now is there tomato in that? You say? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's. I guess that's the gourmet part. I want to say something about the tomato. Yeah. I, I, it looks like, Jeremy, that they placed the tomato in between the bacon and yeah. the cheese so that it, that it doesn't get soggy. We learned Ooh. that. Is this bringing back memories? That's smart. That's yeah. smart. This is bringing back memories from the chateau. And it looks because that tomato, the bread's not soggy, it's crispy. But it's not touching the bread. So I so love that. In between, two layers in between the cheese, cheese and I the bacon. Go in again. I very got smart, to. very smart. We think a lot about things here at Hammond's Field. Well, we learned that on our last comping, uh, cooking competition, not to not to make the bread soggy. That's right. You guys are experts now. Tell me what this is called again. Is this garlic it's, aioli? I I think. Well, it could be. I thought it was a bacon oh. aioli. Maybe it's like a bacon garlic aioli. I taste some garlic in there, or maybe okay. it's in the grilled cheese. No. It's so good. Yeah. What Excellent. Kind of, what kind of cheese is? Is there cheese in that? 
sauce? Did you say? In this sauce? Yeah. No, I don't think there's don't cheese think in there. So. Okay. No. I thought it was a certain kind of cheese you said. All right. Oh my God, that sauce is so good. Uh, I think there might not be any food left here in just a little bit, Matt. No, but, but well, yeah. There's, there's plenty of press. It's, I know. Um, this, is, uh, this last item is the this one is we've been like, discussing this is famously. This minor league item there is. Yeah. yeah. Minor league item? So yeah. this, is, this is a thing. This is a thing. I've just now heard of it. So it's two days a week only, Fridays and Saturdays. It's the Jumbo Spud Dog. So when I say the most minor league item, it's like minor league baseball teams try to put out all kind of like ridiculously fun food items. Mm -hmm. So this is ours. So it's a jumbo hot dog and a baked potato smothered in or decorated in, if you want to be fancy, nacho <laughs> cheese, sour cream, and bacon. And I had one. It's incredible. Okay. Dig in, you guys. You guys dig what in. What is not to like you there? Gotta, that looks fantastic. Kind of is that your fork? Whose fork is that? I don't mind. I'll use another fork. That looks so good. I would like to try a bite of that. Okay. No, perfect. Yeah. I just think it's such, it's dog, such a fun creation, Matt, because you wouldn't think about this putting this concoction together, right. and yet it works. You said people have loved it so far, right? Yes. I mean, normally what I was told is like our new food items are sort of one-year things. Like they're like kind of testing them out and rotating them around, but this one's been so popular that they want to bring it back and make it a permanent item. Wow. Um, it's just fun. I mean, it's like you said, you wouldn't think about it, but it's good to pick up. What do you think, Cal? I think there's a couple of ways to eat this. You could pick the dog out of the middle and eat it, or you could cut it up and eat it with everything. What do you guys think? Yum. Mm. Good combo. How's the, how's the dog? Delicious. I didn't get a piece of the dog yet, but it looks good. Yeah. I thought it was just a massive bun. So I thought, you know, I was picturing someone picking up this whole thing and, like, trying to take a bite of this. <laughs> I was like, that's not going to happen. No. I, got, I got to try the dog now. Well, this is all amazing, and thank you for bringing all this gorgeous food out and beer, and uh, we're going to be back with... Hold on. I got I to gotta get into this cow. Hold on. Can, all right. Kaylee, can you hold this? Well, while you do... Oh, no. He uh, doing and it. with that, yes. take it away, Jared. Oh! Don't do it! Hey, Matt, I'm, I'm going to need another one of those, okay? We'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere.